Hello my wonderful friends, Megas with you, and today we're going to talk about blood magic. It is time for blood magic. Let me ask you a question. What spirit can you hear? If you can hear the devil better than you can hear God, you might be in trouble. If you have negativity in your mind all the time, if the enemy is speaking all the time, if you can hear the enemy and not God, I'm going to ask you, who do you think your master is? is it is time for blood magic but before we get into that i'm going to read something that's going to bring some hope to you because as we're raising the evolution and the dimensions of this earth sometimes we can get tired because we are speaking to people that have eyes but they see not they have ears but they cannot hear us uh, we assume they have a brain though we can't see it uh, but they don't seem to be thinking and using it and we can get tired so I'm gonna read something to you that I think will bring you uh, as a light worker uh, a little bit of uh, peace and uh, uh, just a reassuring that you're on the right track it says in the teachings of the Magi so Ahura Mazda took counsel with the consciousness and frivolity of men and he infused omniscient wisdom into them saying, which seemeth more profitable, profitable to you, whether that I should fashion you forth in material form, and that you should strive incarnate with a lie and destroy it, and that we should resurrect you at the end, whole and immortal, and recreate you in material form, that you should eternally be immortal, unaging, and without enemies, or that you should be eternally preserved from the aggressor. And the Fravashi of men saw by the omniscient wisdom that they would suffer evil from the lie and the evil spirit in the world, but because at the end, which is the final body, they would be resurrected free from the enmity of the adverse adversary, whole and immortal forever and ever. And they agreed to go to the material world. My friends, you chose to come here. And I know when you're in the heat of battle sometimes you might think, what? was I thinking. But it's good to remember that with the omniscient mind, the God mind, we saw the whole lifeline and it was worth it to come. And as you start creating Asha in your world, life is beautiful. My friends, every day it takes all the strength I have not to put a sign on my door that says, closed for business, gone surfing. This life is amazing. It's beautiful. When you're walking in divine health and everything is an adventure for you, you can go surfing, chasing waterfalls, just play and have fun and enjoy this life in Asha. You want to do that. But also inside of me is this strong desire to raise the evolution of this world. The animals and earth are praying that we do our job as light workers so that people stop killing the animals. As we're talking about as light workers, they, that the people have eyes but they see not. Every day I put these pictures on my Instagram of the animals at the slaughterhouses and the sadness in their eyes and the fear in their eyes. And I try to stir something in people but they, they just glaze over like they're not seeing what I'm showing them. They're not hearing it. They, they have no feeling, no heart. And But we got to keep just holding that high vibration and praying to God that they wake up. What spirit can you hear? Can you hear the evil spirit all the time? Can you not hear from God? Then this message is for you. It's time for blood magic. The life is in the blood. My friends... I am a Christ follower, okay? I love Jesus, and I am proud of it. I was thrown out of high school because I love Jesus. But I will not stand by and let people misrepresent Him, our good spirit. The biggest lie, the most dangerous lie on the earth today is today's Christianity. It is dragging people off to hell. It is separating them from God. You can tell no difference from a Christian and the carnal world. And that's not just me observing it. The churches have actually done studies to their own detriment that shows there is no difference. The same amount of violence, 
divorce, all the same sin and error in the world is in the church in the same percentage. But I would go on to say that the Christians are a little worse because they're also judgmental and they're hypocrites and they're misrepresenting God and they're pulling people away from God with their lie. Just today, I turned on a Christian programming because there are some preachers I enjoy and I just have to glean from them. And he was saying that David could hear from God and so he knew when he was killing and warring for a spiritual reason or for a carnal reason. And he was trying to show his congregation that there's a time for violence and fighting and war uh, when it's a spiritual cause. Okay? But that's not what Jesus taught. Jesus taught to love your enemy. Jesus taught if they hit you on one side, offer them the other side. Okay, so they're not teaching Christianity. They're teaching Judaism, which doesn't work. And I'll tell you one reason why, of many. One, Jews do not believe in a heaven and a hell. The Jewish people do not believe there's an evil spirit. Okay, I know Christians tell you different, and they try to take over their book, but it's not true. Jesus was a prophet to the Jews to show them what they're doing wrong. When they would say, Moses said, Moses said, Moses said this woman's to be stoned. He said, well, that's not what God said. Here's what God said. When James and John said, let's call down fire from heaven like Elias. He said, you don't know what spirit you are of. Jesus was always teaching the good God. And they crucified him for it. Okay? They're always killing the prophets for only teaching the all good God and coming into alignment with it. As a child, God told me I'm the prophet who doesn't die. But I found out quick, I'm the prophet who gets tired and wants to go play. But I keep doing this because I love you guys and I know you love me and I know we're making a difference in this world. My friends, the Order of the Magi, when you become an Order of the Magi, you know it. Because you are 100% different. You can't hear from the devil anymore. Your main energy is not negative anymore. You can only hear from God in blocks of information. You are love. You vibrate love. A good example of this, you still have an intellect, but I was driving along this windy road in the mountains here, and there was a guy behind me, right up on me. And I could tell he wanted to get by bad. So I pull over and I'm half my truck's bouncing off the side of the road, Plenty of room for him to get by straight away. No cars coming. But he just slowed down with me, got behind, and just laid on the horn. Now, I still have an intellect. I know there's two ways you can go. But what's inside of me came out. And what, do you know what that was? I prayed for him. I said, God, he must be having a horrible day. Maybe someone he loves died. Maybe his life just ain't turning out like he wanted. Maybe he's done everything they told him to do. Go to their schools. Go to their churches. And his life is a living hell. God, please let him find you. Let him find Asha. And then he pulled up next to me. And he extended his middle finger as hard and as far as he could. And I was thinking, my God, he's going to have to have reconstructive surgery after that to put the tendons back in and I just smiled at him and gave him I love you which made him even matter and he sped off but my friends what is the energy inside of you when you get to the end of your life are you going to be full of prejudice and hate and just the evil spirits energy and attributes what is your blood what is your energy because that's what you're going to pass on to the next generations you're going to pass on in your genes in your dna the energy that you are holding my friends it is time for a energy change i'm going to do some reading for you guys please stay with me you all want to learn magic and live in asha but it, it takes study it takes thinking so stay with me as i read to you and teach and let's just enjoy this time together from the Denkart of the teaching of the magis it says the good religion is innate wisdom or reason and the forms and virtues of innate wisdom are of the same stock as innate wisdom itself these forms and virtues are begotten of vohu menu the good mind the god mind and the bounteous spirit of hura mazda Stay with me, please. I'm going to get to something. False religion is ruinous heresy, and the forms and vices of ruinous heresy are of the same vile stock as ruinous heresy itself. These forms and vices of ruinous heresy are misbegotten of the evil mind and the destructive spirit. Okay, now stay with me here. Here's It gets good. The original seed of the good religion. Here's what I want to focus on. The seed, the life, the energy, the blood of the good religion is the bounteous spirit 
And that original seed of false religion is the destructive spirit. So here we got the two energies, okay? The good religion is manifested in wisdom, conformity with wisdom, and that which has wisdom for its matter and wisdom for its form. My friends, that's what we're looking for. Wisdom in our matter, wisdom in its form. We want to create form and matter with the good mind, the God mind, the right energy. Okay, if you are holding the bad evil energy, if that's what you're vibrating, you might be have a good church talk, but if on the inside your mind is always negative, you're holding uh, judgments and prejudice and hate and fear and greed, that's who you truly are. And I don't want to lie to you. When you come to the end of your life, it's not going to work if you're bad thoughts and bad words and bad deeds and your very energy is evil and it outweighs all the good you are not going to go to heaven and you can't stand there and say yeah but didn't God sacrifice his son like an animal you will realize at that moment how ridiculous that is the all-wise God, the perfect creator, made a perfect world, okay? He didn't have to sacrifice his son like an animal. And you'll realize how ridiculous that is. You can see it in other religions when you hear them saying that they threw the virgin into the volcano to appease the angry God. You think, well, that's dumb. But your religion is always just right on. But if you stop and think, you got to use your eyes, your ears, your mind, your spirit, your fervashi. You have to think. You are given tools to figure these things out. And it's quite simple. If it ain't working, it don't work. Okay? Christianity don't work. What works is to be a Christ follower. And I'll show you a great example of that. My friends, uh, uh, my, my pa well, it used to be my pastor, grew up in this church. I was so disappointed when he was sending off the young men and women off to war and gave them the blessing of him in the church. Okay, that's not what Jesus taught. But their thinking is, if we don't do that, then we will be speaking a different language. We'll be taken over by another country. I'm going to show you that that is not true. A wonderful friend of mine. She believed that if you call out on the name of Jesus, you will be saved. She was walking to work. A carload of men pulled up, jumped out. One of them said, grab her. They're going to throw her in the car and take off with her. And she called out on the name of Jesus. She said they froze like statues, could not move. And she walked off in victory because Jesus works when you put just a mustard seed of faith into the word and I'm not talking the Bible I'm talking the original thought of God the highest word the highest vibration Asha truth magic happens it's a blood magic it's powerful my friends you've got to it take it into that life that Jesus life Jesus said drink my blood eat my flesh what is he saying saying by that he's saying take into you his life his energy oneness with good oneness with God be love be protected be provided for be good be God God and your good are the same thing God is here now your good is here now can you believe it you're gonna have to meditate you're gonna have to quiet the mind and the 60,000 thoughts a day and all the lies that have been put in to you from the education system, from the governments, from the churches. You're going to have to quiet the mind and hear from the Holy Spirit of God. And you're going to have to change your religion today. Religion is just a set of beliefs. Let me tell you something. When you get in the true religion, Asha, truth, Ahura Mazda, the all good God, it works. There's power in it. There's protection. There's provision. You create Asha in your mind. Now you're hearing from God. I can't hear from the devil if I wanted to, and I would never want to, but there is no evil in my mind, no evil in my heart. I hear from God clearly all the time. I walk with him out in the mountains and just spend time with him and converse with him and love on each other, and he calls me young one, and it's a beautiful relationship, and it's available to you, my wonderful friends. I want to read some more. I'm having a good time. I hope you're still with me and enjoying this. I want to go to uh, the tenth statement and teaching of Asha. And the funny thing about this one is this was not my favorite 
statement and teaching in Asha. Um, there's so much amazing information in it. But uh, like I'd go up on the top property and I'd be walking and I like to just recite from memory Asha. And whenever I got to 10, I was just like, oh gosh, this is a long one. But it's so powerful and there's so much magic in it. So I'm going to ask you to stay with me. I will ask myself a question, not concerned with how I want others to perceive me or an image to project, but an honest question looking for an honest answer. What energy am I really? Are you ready to ask yourself that? What is your energy? What is your life? Who's your master? There are two kinds of contraries. Now stay with me, hear this. One whose differences are a function, such as hot and cold, high and low, light and heavy, full and empty, which work together in harmony. Then there are contraries of substance which cannot combine, such as good and evil, love and hate, health and sickness, truth and lie, life and death. For when the truth is told, the lie is exposed. Where health is, sickness is not to be found. It's like turning a light in a dark room. There's no big fight. The light just fills the room and the darkness is gone. So ask yourself these questions right now with me. What energy am I? Am I love or am I hate? Do I bring peace? Do I bring peace to my mind, to my family, to the environment, to the people I'm around? Or do I bring discord? Do I hold joy or do I hold trouble? Am I fearful and doubting? Take an honest look inside. Is your energy good or evil? The energy of the seed of a tree will produce a tree. The energy of the seed of an animal will produce an animal. The energy of the seed of the good mind will produce good. The energy of the seed of the evil energy will produce evil. What are you producing in your life, in your thoughts, in your words? What comes out of your mouth? What are your actions? What are your thoughts? What energy are you truly? Are you really born again? Are you really a new creature? My friends, you have been lied to. If you're told there was an angry God that killed his son to let you off the hook. It is not true. God does not get angry. Okay, he's the all good God. It's not that Jewish God that's mixed, that's at war sometimes, peace sometimes, love sometimes, hate sometimes, kills and judges. Okay, around 600 BC like we said, after the Zoroastrian influence, Christianity was born, and they realized that there's a good spirit and an evil spirit. Are you one with good spirit? You will have a good tree, which produces good fruit. What is the fruit you are producing? Okay, if you can't take an honest look, ask your kids, ask your spouse, ask the people that you work with. Go to your work and ask people, am I good energy or bad energy? Do I produce good fruit? Do I bring, when I'm around, do I bring peace, love, joy? Am I a reflection of the all good God or a reflection of the evil spirit? Do you see more evil spirit in me or good spirit in me? Jesus said, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. The Christian idea of I'm not perfect, just forgiven, will not work. Do not reach the end of your life and they bring out the scales and it tips over in negative. When you already knew that you were evil energy, you must make a change today. One Praise God. I get excited when I say this every time. God is all good. He has been misrepresented in many stories. Is hating, war, and killing. He does not destroy his creatures. He's the highest principle of good. He's love. He's peace. He's joy. He has no attributes of the evil spirit. Number two, you come into alignment with that all good God. It's accepting Jesus, drinking his blood, eating his flesh, being one with the all good spirit. And three, you create Asha, heaven on earth, in your world. Praise God. My friends, I'm going to read one more thing to you. And then I'm going to send you to another video that is very, very important. And this is the Yata'ahu. And it's the prayer that God himself spoke to remove the evil spirit. And you can use this yourself. Hear me, my friends. Then Ahura Mazda chanted the 21-word prayer, the Yata'ahu, and he showed the destructive spirit his own final victory, the powerlessness of the destructive spirit, the destruction of the demons, and the resurrection, the final body, and the freedom of creation from all aggression. I'm going to put a link uh, up right now 
for you guys to go and learn this. Recite this every day. Blood magic. Change your energy. I love you. I love you. I love you.